We are going to cover the Nano Series illuminators using the AT3MS. When you receive your unit, please note the model sticker on the box. It contains the model number, wavelength, and illumination angle, and the full part number. You will need this if you call for product support. There is also a QR code that you can scan for more information about the unit. When you pull the unit out, take note of the setup guide. It contains information for properly connecting your illuminator. It has the correct voltage requirements to apply to the unit. In this case, it is 9 to 18 volts DC. When selecting a power supply, please keep this in mind as well as the power consumption. It also has directions for wiring the unit in the constant on, automatic, and externally controlled configurations. The AT3MS is a 3 watt device, but the Nano series is also available in a 5 watt version and 5 watt PoE powered version. The mounting bracket installed on this unit allows you to pan and tilt the unit to align with your camera's view. You can adjust the bracket by loosening the bolts with an 8 inch Allen wrench. Once you have the unit at the angle you want, simply tighten the bolts. This is the standard bracket, it is included with the illuminator. On the back of the unit, you will find a cable gland for the cable to enter the unit. Do not loosen or tighten this as it will affect the environmental sealing made in the factory and can void the warranty. Next to the cable gland, you will see a small white lens. This is for the ambient light sensor used in automatic mode. Keep this in mind when mounting your unit. At the end of the cable are the wires you will use to make your connections. Use the quick setup guide to make the proper connections for your application. Make all of your connections before applying power to the unit. Make sure one more time that you are using the appropriate power supply for your unit. Applying the incorrect voltage may void the warranty. At this point, you can power up your unit and be ready to go. If you still have questions after following the quick setup sheet instruction, please feel free to contact us.